Hi, this is Lucas, again with the third tutorial of this series. So, until now we have seen how we created some game objects and make the pedal move. Now we are going to tackle the ball. The pedal and the ball require the mo most of the work, so after we have finished the ball, the rest is not a big deal. So, let's begin. First, we have to create another script for, for the ball. So, create javascript and name it ball controller open it in mono develop so that is the pedal now remove the paragma strict again now um, uh, we have to add some variables again so enter var speed that will hold the speed of the ball of type float is equals to 4250 like the one in the pedal controller var ball will of type game object will hold it, obviously the ball var brick sound the name says it all the same thing goes to var wall sound of type audio clip and the last thing is var block game object that will hold the block so So in the start we are not going to do anything, in the update we are going to insert some things. So let's drag something so that I can show you. You do not have to do this, I'm just going to show you some things on it. So let's focus on the ball. Sorry. That is called ball. Now we have to focus on it okay so as you can see here we have the scene no we need to have a clear view of the game how it is going to be so if the ball falls right about here right about here right about there don't don't um, uh, take notice of this this is just working and this will uh, is just an example so if the ball falls right about here we need it to be destroyed or something like that it is removed and uh, this will come again and we can play it so the value of the y is very important right here approximately it is minus 100 if it is minus 100 the the li a life is taken away obviously we are going to do it later on but we need to refer to it as as like that so delete it now oh, i'm going to delete it now so we have to have uh, an if condition so if transform with a small t dot position dot y is smaller than minus 100 so if the ball uh, um, has a y position of smaller than 100 we are going to execute this code so obviously um, later on we um, minus so lives minus one something like that so that we understand that we have to remove a life but that will be later on so now we are going to um, reset the ball reset the ball destroy it and call again and call again this part and call again this part with obviously this part this part of the attached ball with this part so that when the user presses space, 
the ball will go up so transform dot position dot y because now we are working on the y axis not on the x like the ped pedal sorry game object dot find game object with tag that that's when the tag comes in place pedal dot transform which means that it will take the ball take the ball position transform dot transform dot position dot y plus 5.5 5. which means that it will take the ball and position it exactly where the pedal is so if the ball falls if the ball falls right here where it is going to fall and the pedal is here where it is the ball will come here with the pedal will come here with the pedal so that's what we want the same thing is going to be on the x-axis so if it falls here the ball will come in the center of the pedal a bit above the pedal and in the middle of the pedal like in the beginning of the game but this time we have to cater for it so that's done now the only, uh, just copy that line paste it and instead of y make dot x find game object with tag pedal transform dot position dot x and remove the plus 5.5 as we want it in the middle uh, if, if we if we had the 5.5 sorry about the bracket sorry about this okay so if if we had 5.5 and dx it will be if it falls obviously instead of be being in the center it will be something right here because it will be moved 5.5 to the right so that's why we removed it so the next thing is to make the rigid body uh, approximately null not approximately virtually virtually non null so ball dot rigid body as is at as we are going to affect the rigid body of the ball dot sleep and close and open open and close sorry now we are going to make an instance of this um, javascript so var pedal controller sorry we are going to make an object of the of this type of script so var pedal controller is of type pedal controller that means that pedal controller will hold all the um, uh, features of this script and now sorry instead of pedal controller we can name it p controller so that we understand the difference between them so p controller is the object and pedal controller is the type of the object so p controller let's move it a bit downward so we separate them so p controller the object is equals to the game object dot find object with tag pedal again dot get component and pedal controller so it is searching for the pedal in this script of pedal controller and now we have to assign the attached ball of p controller the attached ball of p controller not of the pedal controller but of this object p controller 
remember that we have to sign we have to assign the attached ball to the current ball which is this one or uh, sorry not this one uh, but the ball in general which is we are going to attach it at attach the script to so p controller dot attached ball equals this dot game object which means the game the current game object which the script is attached to now I think that's it so let's try it out we have to save and we have to attach attach sorry the script ball controller to the prefab of ball so let's drag it a bit in the folder and drag it onto the ball and now we should have ball controller right here drag it back in the scripts now we have to attach some things so ball is the ball okay the brick sound we have to add it because I forgot to import sound the brick sound and the wall sound as well and the wall sound import those two why the brick sound didn't come okay now uh, change them to 2d as well apply so uh, prefabs ball and continue attaching all all the things so brick sound wall sound and block at the block prefab so I think if the ball falls the ball should be again attached as we saw perfect and obviously if I hit it it will obviously do the same things as it, as it did before so control save obviously now the next thing is to play um, play the sound once the ball hits the uh, the wall so function again on collision enter so when the ball hits something a certain sound will play obviously we'll we'll have uh, some if condition so that we know what the ball hit so on collision enter if the game object sorry if call the game object that the ball collided with has a tag of block of wall sorry we are going to do the block afterwards of wall remember we added the wall tag to the walls right here any of the walls if it hit and if it hits any of the walls it will play it will play audio dot play one shot wall sound comma 0.5 So if we play, uh, sorry, uh, the same thing, uh, the same mistake again with the pedal sound. So we have to add an audio source, so component audio, audio source, and remove play on awake and add the wall sound to it. And it tells us this is a 2D sound. So that plays. Let's see the right. Okay. Now let's move on to the left. Let's see. Okay. They all play. So that is one good thing. 
so I think for this tutorial everything is complete now in the next tutorial we are going to tackle some things about the blocks how they are going to be displayed on the screen right here and if the ball hits them um, if the ball hits them the block is destroyed obviously and uh, uh, a sound will play uh, I think these are the things that we are that I'm going to do I'm going to show you in the next tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe hope you are like the liking this series thanks for watching